What do you say to someone who says, I don't believe in God because Christians are too judgmental? And this kind of piggybacks on, here we are with all this God moment, but why do they think we're judgmental? This I is do, our life. Yes, I do agree at times that Christians, once God cleans us up and purifies our hearts, we look at it from the perspective, oh wow, he's done so much, so we're looking right. at somebody else instead of looking in the mirror. I get it, but that's still an excuse. Yeah. God's not judgmental. No. You know, Jesus says, I have come not to call the righteous, I've come to call the sinner. I love the sinner. I've come not to judge the world, but to save the world. Don't let it be an excuse, because the scripture goes on to say, those who want to continue to walk in darkness, do it as an excuse. Come to the light. God is not judgmental. And we're going to talk about when he is and uh, later or think in another show. But God is not judgmental. And I have to say one more thing. You brought up Mother Teresa. And she says, any work of love brings us face to face with God. Amen. 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 When we Christians are operating in love, the world can no longer look at us and say, but there are times when we operate in love and they think, I can't do that on my own. So they're That's thinking beautiful. we're judgmental. Mm. We're not judgmental. You can do it too. Only by the grace of God can you forgive. Only by the grace of God right. can you not swear. That's Only right. by the grace of God can you not drink and do these superficial things. Yeah. But jealousy, anger, mm -hmm. hatred, mm -hmm. the things that are in the heart, he exposes mm -hmm. and he cleans. We can't do it ourselves. I know, yeah. but see, we think we're right. And this, we think we're right on so many areas of life. And we call out sin. We stand. So others think we are so judgmental. So let me jump in here. It's not even that we think we are right. There are things that we know we are right That's about. That's right. We are right. The, it's the attitude <laughs> that yeah. I have achieved. Right. As Paul said, I don't preach and teach mm -hmm. from a place of having obtained. And so for me to hold Corey accountable or Corey to hold me accountable, that's a gift and a grace from God. But it's how we do it. We can rip each other apart right. or we can pull each other to the side and we can minister to one another in love you know, and which will cause our hearts to open. God put a system in place for us to grow. We, we need, we have veered away from disciple making, discipleship making. We have veered away from holding one another accountable. I don't want to hurt your feelings. I don't want you to feel bad. I don't want you not to like me. I don't want you to not have me back to speak. I don't want you to not refer me out to speak. But the bottom line is this is judgment work. So I don't minister so that you can like me. I like it, who doesn't want to be liked? But I can't because that blood is now on my hands. Mm -hmm. And so I have to address what the word says, yes. but it's with the heart of God. Mm -hmm. Every gift works by love, not That's by right. pride, That's not right. by arrogance, right. not by self-promotion. It's a good one. Amy, how do you handle this? Um, I had a thought about when Paul said, I don't want to take John Mark with me right now. We're parting ways. Well, why? Was he judgmental to John Mark? Did something Not happen? Mm -hmm. You know, but then mm -hmm. all of a sudden he said, hey, now we're going to work together. So there is such thing as good judgment. Righteous judgment. Not, it doesn't all have to be bad judgment. Right. It's like, I'm not judging you because I don't love you. I, I've got to assess the situation. I've got to, uh, what, we know them by their fruits. Know those who labor among you. I mean, we're not looking at apples and oranges here. We're looking at, you know, what does your life look like? What are you producing with your life? And, and let's, let's take a look at that. You know, I'm thinking specifically leadership in the church. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I think where this question comes in and it gets really tricky is when people come in and they're totally lost. Mm. They're not dressed right. They don't act like, they smell different, smell like weed, just drank alcohol. And for a Christian in that moment to judge the, them to feel like, I don't love you or want geez, you to know the love of God. I think that is where a huge problem right. is. Well, I, I hope that you got our message today. And we don't judge you. We just applaud you and are so grateful for you being here.